Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create an animated synthwave grid in DaVinci Resolve 17.2.2. Inside your edits window, go to effects library. Underneath toolbox, select effects and go to find fusion composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to your edits timeline. Select the Fusion Composition clip. Hold in Ctrl and press D to change the clip duration if you wish. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. In this particular project, I'm going to change the duration of this Fusion Composition clip to 10 seconds. Click on Change when you're done. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, hold in Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the Rectangle tool. Select this and go to click on Add. To have the spaces in between the grid lines transparent on your final video, hold in Shift and press Space again and go to Insert a Background tool. Click on the grey box to the right of Rectangle 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow to the left of background 1 to make a connection. With the background 1 node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Color, reduce the alpha value to 0 to add transparency in between your grid lines. With the background 1 node still selected, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add the Grid tool. Connect Grid 1 to Media Out 1. You should be able to see a preview of your grid on your Fusion window. If you don't, select either the left or right view options underneath your Media Out 1 tool. Select your Grid 1 tool. Hold in Shift and press Space. And go to Insert a Merge tool. With the Grid 1 tool selected, return to Inspector and underneath controls, reduce row cells to 7, reduce column cells to 12, and to remove the lines with extra thickness, change major line spacing to 0. To change the colour of your grid lines, double click on the box next to line colour, and select the colour of your grid lines from the colour palette. In this particular example here, the hexadecimal code that we will type in into the HTML box to select our colour shade will be E137FF to come up with a light purple synthwave shade. Click OK. What we now need to do is insert a line which will appear at the end of both grids on our animation. If you have either Merge 1 or Media Out 1 selected on your node's grid, Deselect these by clicking anywhere in the blank spaces on the grid itself. Hold in Control or Command and select the rectangle, background and grid nodes before the merge node. Hold in Control and press C to copy. Deselect your highlighted nodes and hold in Control and press V to paste. With your duplicated grid 1 node selected, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a crop tool. The first horizontal line we will create will appear at the bottom of our animated upper grid. With the crop 1 node selected, return to inspector and change Y size to 3. This value will ensure that only a single horizontal line will be selected and that the rest of the grid will be cropped out in this duplicate. With crop 1 selected, hold in shift and press space again and go to add a Transform XF tool. With your Transform 1 node selected, go to Inspector and under Controls and Transform to have the single horizontal line appear at the bottom of your grid, change center Y to minus 177. Connect your Transform 1 node to the green foreground arrow to the side of Merge 1 Select your Merge node, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a second Merge node. 
Now to create the horizontal line which will appear at the top of the lower animated synthwave grid. Select the five nodes which make up the first single horizontal line which you created from the duplicate rectangle node to transform one. Holding Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect. Holding Ctrl and press V to paste. Deselect your duplicate nodes. Now select the duplicate transform node. Under Inspector and Controls once again. To move the horizontal line to the top of your grid, change center Y to the opposite value. In this case here, it will be 177. Connect the duplicate transform node to the green foreground arrow by Merge 2. To add a gentle glow to your grid, select Merge 2 and hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a soft glow tool. The properties in Inspector for this particular node shouldn't need modification. Now to change the angle at which the grid is displayed, ensure that soft glow one is selected, hold in Shift and press Space again and select the DVE tool. To create this animation effect, we will first create the upper animated grid. In order to shift the grid upwards, increase the value for center Y. In this case here, I will increase this to 0 0.73. Now to rotate the grid so that the lower part appears further away from the viewer. In order to do this, under controls and rotation, change X to 85. In order to increase the size of the grid so that upper and side sections are also covered by the purple glowing lines, we need to add another transform node. Ensure that DVE is selected, hold shift and press space, and go to add another transform XF tool. With the latest transform node selected, underneath inspector and controls, increase size to 1.34. Now to create the duplicate grid at the bottom side of the screen. With the latest transform node selected, hold in shift and press space. And go to add the mirrors tool. To create a reflection effect where the synth wave grid appears on both sides of the screen vertically, change angle to 90. With the grid line art effect now created, we will apply an animation effect to make it appear that the viewer is floating forward in between the grids themselves. In order to achieve this, go back to your original grid node, select this, hold in shift and press space, and go to add another transform XF tool. With this latest transform tool selected, ensure that your frame pointer is at the very start of your fusion composition clip at frame zero. You can set the preview screen to the start of your video by changing the frame number underneath the bottom right corner of your fusion timeline to frame zero. Underneath inspector for this latest transform node, the center Y value underneath transform needs to vary in order to make the grid lines move vertically. To do this, first select the keyframe diamond icon which appears to the right of center Y. To have the animation play at the speed shown in the video preview at the start of this tutorial, the value for center Y needs to increase by a value of 1.0 after every 5 seconds of screen time. Since my fusion composition clip plays for a duration of 10 seconds on my video timeline, I will need to ensure that center Y increments by 2 by the final frame of this particular clip. I will first set the frame pointer on my fusion timeline to the final frame number which is 239 and underneath inspector and transform again I will increment center Y to 2.5. Your grid will then disappear from screen. This is because by the end of your fusion composition clip your original grid would have disappeared off canvas vertically. In order to prevent your grids from disappearing, what we need to do is duplicate these. Simply do this by finding the edges variable and changing from canvas to wrap. And that's a wrap, folks. The animated synthwave grid is based loosely on the artwork for the loading menu in the video game Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon by Ubisoft. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care. This will ensure that only a single horizontal line will be a showing. <coughs> <coughs> to add transparency, reduce the ALF with the background one node selected. Simply do this by <coughs> simply do this by f under inspector and com